सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर बैक विथ क्लास इलेवन पोएम फादर टू सन सो द टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस पोएम आर अबाउट द ऑथर पोएम समरी वर्ड मीनिंग ऑफ द पोएम एसेट्रा अबाउट द ऑथर द ब्रिटिश पोएट अलीसाबैथ जेनिंग्स हैज पब्लिश मोर देन ट्वेंटी बुक्स ऑफ पोएट्री सिंस द नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज शी राइट्स शॉर्ट मेडिटेटिव लिरिक्स दैट आर नोन फॉर देयर सिंप्लिसिटी कंट्रोल एंड रेंज ऑफ फीलिंग दीज क्वालिटी हैव लिंक जेनिंग्स to a group of poets usually referred to as the movement who were writing in England during the 1940s and 50s the member of this group poets like kingsley amis tom gunn philip larkin and john wayne never consciously formed a movement but their poetry reveals a shared love for simplicity and acceptance of regular meter and rhyme so now we are going to start with the poem i do not understand the child though we have lived together now in the same house for years i know nothing of him so try to build up a relationship from how he was when small yet have i killed the seed i spent or sown it where the land is his and none of mine we speak like strangers there is no sign of understanding in the air this child is built to my design yet what he love i cannot share silence surround us i would have him prodigal returning to his father's house the home he knew rather than he see him make and move his world i would forgive him too shaping from sorrow a new love father and son we both must live on the same globe and the same world i speak i cannot understand myself why anger grows from grief we each put out an empty hand longing for something to forgive so now we're going to start with the summary of the poem the poem revolves around the conflict between father and son who are in a serious communication gap though they live in the same house or globe they are like strangers to each other the father broods over his and this forms the center of the poem he introspects with an agarian imagery where he feels he has sown his seed in a stranger's land that forbids him from owing it he admits that he cannot share what his son loves and expects him to come back home like the prodigal or lost son in the parable of jesus in the bible he is ready to forgive him and develop a new love from sorrow but his son feels angry growing out of sorrow admits the vain efforts of both in understanding each other the analysis of the poem is the theme of the poem is the generation gap which occurs when the communication link between two generation breaks due to the mutual lack of understanding tolerance and acceptance compare and contrast this poem with the poem childhood that poem was a child's perspective and struggle to understand himself this poem is a father's inability to come to terms with you it who has replaced the father's little boy so thank you please like share and subscribe if you like our video